Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux, I'm your host, Japanese lover, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, it's about March 12th, 1941, and I do want to show you what's happening in Europe, because, well, Germany's doing fairly well against the Third International for now, which kind of sucks, but then Romania decided to get a little longy, or a little, a little, get a little northern border, as well as a little bit of a eastern border, and this is very really disgusting. This is, this is probably the most disgusting Romania I've ever seen. Romania, why do you have to be disgusting? Illyria is looking pretty darn swell. Maybe from Yugoslavia, but regardless, here we are. So, I struggled yesterday. We struggled yesterday with Shanghai. But the way I did it was by forcing the cavalry to attack, force attack, as well as the Marines at the same time attacking Shanghai. And then, then they eventually broke after they ran out of manpower, took over Hong Kong, took over, let's see, Tianjin. Which actually, I failed the first naval invasion trying to attack them. I failed the first time, but the second time it went much more smoothly, so. And also, I've gone to war already with the Dutch East Indies. As you can see, we're doing pretty well, darn well. I invaded Southeast Borneo first, moved over here, and then just kind of invaded Palembang. And as you can see, well, they're not doing so well down there. And let's see. Ooh, ooh, we have a little bit of a ship battle stuff going on, huh? Little shipy battles? Six destroyers have already been sunk? Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. Uh, let's see. What is the ship stuff? I want to show you how many ships we've sunk. Let's see. Uh, equipment in the field. Ah, it's behind, hidden behind this thing. No, no, no. Oh, there we go. Naval losses. So, current month, we sunk some destroyers and convoys. Last month, we sunk some subs and some convoys. Current year, uh, we sunk some destroyers, cruisers, convoys. What was this? Uh, sunk some of that stuff. Older. Uh, that happened a while ago. I sunk a couple. I sunk a carrier. I sunk six capital ships. So, I thought it was really cool. We sunk quite a few of the Australasian Navy. Obviously, it's not nearly enough yet, but we're, we're working on it. Uh, at this point, you guys just head on down here, maybe. Can you go all the way down here? That'd be really nice. Cool. But, you got, hope you guys are having a good old day. I'm doing okay myself. And let's hopefully win the war against down here. My goal is to beat up Australasia. Take all this territory. Uh, demand Deutsch Ostasian. And I have a couple uh, focuses we need to talk about. So, we're currently doing nationalized the Zaibatsus. And we'll talk about the few ones I've already done so far. So, since the Maiji Restoration, the subsequent westernization, the Zaibatsu have been the heart of the economic and industrial activity within Japan. They have great influence over domestic and foreign policy. The Imperial Army is always opposed to Zaibatsu's influence and work towards their liquidation. Now that they have effectively controlled the country, the army can nationalize all the major Zaibatsu and destroy their influence. So, that's what we're currently doing. Uh, it is 1941. Maybe better radar, but more construction speed output stuff. That is usually pretty good to do. Other uh, focuses that I've done is militarized, pr uh, prioritized military oil. Where's that one? Ah, this one. With the country at war, oil is more vital than ever. While well, it is useful for many civilian purposes, it is vital for armed forces. As such, we must prioritize oil for military uses first and foremost. Nationalize the aircraft industries, which is what I've done next, which is where? Nationalize. Oh, so probably on this side. Oh, yeah, right here. The aircraft industry is a vital part of national defense and is thus too important to be left in private hands. All military aircraft manufacturers must be nationalized and reformed into arsenals or merged into military controlled factories. I've also done screens to help balance out the army stuff, so no capital ship is stronger than its weakest destroyer. Without the protection of screening ships, no matter how powerful, our capital ships will end up sunk. And we're currently doing nationalized Zaibatsus, which I think the next one we want, might want to do colonial incentives. Oh, prepare. We might want to do that, but maybe we want to wait for that, because I would really like to get involved with Operation Ichigo. Or Go. But then again, issue colonial ultimatum. I don't want to really fight the Reichs back until we're done with Australasia, so maybe try to get India. We want to wait that until... The Dominion of India has won their wars. Probably this one. A series of decisive battles have been planned called Ichi Operation Ichigo, intended to link up our various armies and crush the Chinese once and for all. We're sticking a great deal on this, and if we should prove to be unsuccessful, our stability is sure to suffer as well as as war will seem unwinnable to the public. But we have every faith in our journals to bring the victory at last for Japanese, sword, uh, Japanese soldiers. Tenno Haki Banzai. Cool. Other than that, how much else has really happened? Uh, destruction of the Johor Singapore Causeway? Oh boy. I don't know about that. And we want to finish our land programs. I already finished everything else here, so not bad. War propaganda against those guys. Let's finish it up. We'll finish our land reform program and see what the results is. Land reform progress is over too. With the current land reform progress, we get the following. Remove poor land usage. Also, we no longer in a drought. Yesterday, yesterday in the last video, we had a drought which gave us like minus 30% stability and some other stuff. So, not bad. And which one was it? Uh, Rising Sun. Yep, that's good. National Security Act. So we get 30% more stability, 30% more war support. So this will be very, 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 very good to do. And we get 1, 2, 3, 10 provinces get 2 more building slots. 
land reform complete. It's a miracle. Land reform has been an ongoing political issue, and we are not the first government to try and implement solutions, but where others failed, we have done what many thought was impossible. We've completed what is being internationally recognized as one of the largest land redistribution programs in history. 2.3 million hectares of land have been distributed to farmers during the project, and landlordism, as Japan knew it, it no longer exists. Banzai, banzai, banzai. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's actually really good. We have a great amount of stability, great amount of war support, which is extremely good for us. I love it. Head on in and beat him up. Because after this, we're going to have a big old, probably booty time of trying to invade other peoples and places and stuff like that. These guys just refuse to die, but die they will. Die they will. They shall. We shall make sure of it. Alright, so Marines, when you're done here, uh, just head on down here. That's fine for now. Um, we're going to have to invade more of Dutch Southeast Asia, finish off Australasia, hopefully in this episode, and then get involved in China. And once China's done a puppet, then we're going to kill off Russia and call it a campaign. At least that's my goal. And this third international slowly losing. Paris is the frontline city, but they're beating up the Kingdom of Spain, as well as the Portuguese, probably. The Barti Economy is still holding on strong, so... I'll have to wait and see what happens. Ooh, more planes. Nice. Love the better planes. Love it, 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 love it. And having five research slots, it's so good. Four is, you know, the standard, but... Five is just, mmm, tasty. And I've done some naval stuff, some naval doctrine stuff, which is pretty important. We're doing land doctrine. Let's go some better anti-air, maybe, because I think our cavalry currently is using anti-air. Alright, so at this point, let the infantry go in there. Marines, I need you to go ahead and get ready for another naval invasion. We're struggling up here, definitely, so we're actually going to naval invade up here first. Medan. And if not, we can probably just go around them, probably. We did lose Marines last time, but hey, it is what it is. You guys head over there, and... Is there another naval port? No, there's, oh, there's one up there too. Cool. There you go. Good luck. You're going to need that. Alright, so you guys are doing an okay job. Where are you at? One, two, three. Uh, I put those guys up there because supply was so bad after we got this place. Uh, you guys go over here and go right there. That'd be kind of nice. And then one, two, three. And then you guys come from Makassar probably to invade. Maybe right there. There you go. Should be good enough, right? Oh, more garrisons. Yay! And we made sure that these garrisons aren't, like, super great. They're ch basically Chinese divisions. Engineers are nice and all, which is good, but... Eh, military police, hmm. Yeah, that's good enough for now. I, we need to use some puppet divisions. Puppet manpower for that, but whatever. Good. Very good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man, we need more ships. We need definitely need more uh, fleets. Uh, I'll split you guys in half. I don't like doing that, but we need definitely to do some stuff up here, too, so... That'll be good. Cavalry really sucking it up right now. Come on, guys. They're just militia, basically. Oh, look at this. A, car a naval battle? Shank them, shank them, shank them. They got 20 planes. Well, we've got at least 100, so. Oh, yep. Australia can't do jack squat, led by the Canadians. John Collins is losing his stuff. Hopefully, come on, blow them up faster. Well, that's not too bad. Look at that. Uh, a Valkyrie cruiser hull, a destroyer, and some extra planes. We lost two planes ourselves, but that's okay. If you need to... Have you guys repair? I'm totally okay with you guys repairing. Totally, 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 totally okay with that. Oh, now we're winning here. Go figure. Alright, so you guys finished, which is great. I'm going to put you four here, because we're going to continue naval invading with these guys, which would be good. Uh, we sent a convoy, a Spanish convoy. We lost a convoy, which is not good. And we have another division. Thank you very much. Oh, that's not good. You guys got trapped. Uh, come on, ships. What the heck? You let the convoy die, guys. You're not allowed, supposed to let that happen. Ah, but I sent him to go repair and stuff, so... Oh, boy. That's not good. 14. Carrier task forces are nice. Let's grab some carrier organization and sword efficiency. That'd be pretty good. Alright. Nationalized Zaibatsus. And we're going to do Operation Ichigo. More military factories? Good. What are we missing? Guns. Guns, 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 guns. That's not good. Takao. Uh, honestly, maybe we build up that naval port a little bit more so we can... No, it's already built up. Kawasaki's... Oh, that sucks. It's gone. Why are you taking so long to rebuild all this stuff? Some, I mean, I wish it was ways to re repair ships faster. I would really love that sometime. Nice. Follow it up with... Armored oper operations, cool. You guys go when you can. You guys go as well. You should be, yep, good to go. We should be able to go to there soon, too. 
and then taking Madan, which would cut everyone else off here. Or at least, I guess, everyone else right here. And we can start attacking from the north as well. Oh, we found some some enemy uh, shippies. Oh, boy. I got some transports. Nice, another convoy's been sunk. Good, good, good. Another convoy's been sunk, which is not good. Good, good. <laughs> and the fleet's up here. We lost a convoy. Come on, guys. Oh, the Dutch is gone. Great. Oh, you guys did a great job. Great job, guys. Uh, don't do that one. Three is okay. Anything lower than three is not really that great. Palm Bang is not great. Um, yeah, don't go there. That one is not great either. Yeah, that was not too bad. You can close that one out too. Makassar is not bad. Oh, do we invade yet? We have not. That's okay. Well, Marines, you did a great job. Actually, you didn't even land yet. Oh, did these? Oh, the oh the cavalry got in there. That's nice. Good job, guys. Let them land first. Cool. Thank you. And it's, I guess it's time to. Inv okay. Very nice. Well, I'm probably going to regret this, and I'm probably going to rage a little bit at this, but, uh... Hmm, that's not really worth it. Down here is pretty much going to be worth it, so... Hmm... Where else do we invade? Are we fighting these guys? We are fighting the Entente, technically, so... Right, the Portuguese? Yes, so that's totally fine to invade as well. Hey, you guys made it down here. Nice. Good job, guys. Alright, anything else up here? Oh, uh, sunk an enemy, so that's good. That's quite good. Not bad. Just please repair more, more, more. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Good, good. Get those destroyers done and out. Do we have any upgrades? Ozawa? No? Okay. And then you guys. Minesweeper, mine layer. Eh, that seems okay, but. Alright then. Yeah, we could. Oh, we lost probably another convoy. That sucks. We sunk an enemy convoy, which is pretty good. Oh. I stuff over here too. Good. The Barty coming. They're still holding out. They're, they're trying to be as strong as they possibly can. Mm, limited stuff. Honestly, we're not doing too bad with all this stuff. We're importing a lot of fuel still, but... It could be much worse. Can I lower it by one and maybe get some more aluminum? I don't want to trade as nearly as much, so there you go. We'll trade with the Russians until we don't need to. And... Actually, let's do these guys. Nice. Alright, Marines, you should be able to go soon. Do they have an upgrade? Maybe, maybe not. Nope. Alright, then. Another infantry division. Coast of Central America joined the Third International. Alright, good luck with that. Good luck. A little bit of lag here and there. Alright. There you go. Good. What's going on down here? Convoys? Convoys go bye-bye? Yep. Uh, Dominion of India convoys, it looks like. Oh, good. That makes our guys even t tougher to kill. Love it. Um, We're going to keep going down this way, probably. So let's get some more carriers, probably. That'd be good. That makes our just subs even more deadly. So love, 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 love. So here are the losses so far. 100, 1,000. I mean, obviously the legation city's cut off a lot of our soldiers, but... Oh, Siam's also quite a few, too. Uh, Australasian Confederation, they have two divisions max, so honestly, just go ahead and beat them up if you can. Ichigo, try to get India. I think up next, what is the balance like here? No bias, 3-3, three, three. good. Max planning, uh, recovery rate, uh, meh. Okay, learning incentives. We're starting to run out of things to do here. Um, marine, capital ships. We might want to do that anyways, so. We should focus on big, heavily armed and armored capital ships. Battleships have always been reliable, and these floating fortresses can capture the public's imagination in a way aircraft carriers never will. Very cool. So we get decisions to do here, huh? The time has come for a campaign that will make or break the war effort. A decisive series of battles backed by the full might of the Imperial Japanese Army. There can be no longer any half measures. Tenuku Haikai Banzai. Uh, attack the Beijing government would not be bad. We need the national spirit for that. And... We go to war. On the, we just go to, straight to war with them, which would not be bad since we do on Tianjin. So we get lots of strikes from there, and they are killing themselves. So it's kind of nice. Go if you can. Uh, we can get down there, but we have no supremacy down here. Ah. Here, and then here as well. So if we only have two going in at the same time, that's totally fine. No worries about that. These guys are coming in, but you know what? That's okay. Let their divisions come over here and waste their time. Oh, we actually landed around here too. Look at that. 
We lost maybe a few guys here and there, but whatever. There you go. Are you guys starving? Well, you're gonna be dead and starving soon. There you go, nice. Uh-oh. Hey, four more subs sunk. Great. Oh, look at that. The National French. Kill the National French off. Stupid European colonizers. Cool. Alright then, then you guys... Begin instead of that, plan for an invasion from here to Darwin. Very nice. Uh, don't let them in circles. Type 220s, cool. It is 41, let's grab some better tanks, maybe some better light tanks perhaps. Please don't get encircled. For the love of God, please do not get encircled. Okay, whew. That would have been quite bad, quite pathetic of us. So go to war with China, and we have enough time, we'll go to war with the Ost Deutsch Ostasian. Then again, they might be losing. Eh, Paris is still holding on, barely. They're still losing to the Russians, so... Probably best to take it whenever we can. Better anti-air, thank you. Oh, would you look at that? A Spanish convoy. Sunk two. Oh, lost two subs. That sucks. But oh well, it is what it is. And then you two come here as well. And take it right there. You should be able to do that. They don't. They literally have like almost no divisions there. So get the cavalry ready to go. Come, come to Palembang. Nice. Batavia, cool. Lots of little states around here. And who do we not have? Chief of the Air Force? Uh, air superiority is probably the way to go. But what's over here? Kawasaki? Oh, we cannot nationalize him, so we lost that. That's fine, whatever. Uh, synthetic oil, plus 20% is not bad. Nationalize the Batsu? We can't. We should have done that. Oh, man, we lost a lot. Mm, research speed is okay. I kind of prefer the synthetic oil stuff. The research speed is not bad. Yeah, just go to that one. Nippon Oil. Good. And if that's the okay, case, so maybe we'll start trying to lower the amount of imports we currently need. Especially from the Americas. So, maybe we did that. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Oh, are we lacking guns? Yeah, we're lacking guns. That's not good. What are we building? More refineries, more military factories, more naval bases and such. Cool. Alright, so we're going to risk this. Oh, we got two more ships here. Ah, carrier, nice. Put yourself right there. I need you guys to come down here too, so. Oh, wait, what happened to you two? Actually, it's fast if we just do it independently, so you guys basically do the same thing, but you'll be able to do this a little bit faster if we just do it individually. There you go. So now it takes zero to seven. It takes a week. Not bad. Not bad. Lost a convoy, sunk a convoy, or maybe an allied convoy or something like that. Let's see if you guys continue the struggle, and then we'll come in, in later on. Well, we're still making about 100 guns a day. That ain't too bad. Capital ships? After capital ships, we might just do electronic communications. Part of our planning doctrine revolves around fast communications and early detection, which would be immensely improved by electronic means. Very nice. Failed the Halifax Conference? Good. Let them fail. Oh, we lost a convoy. That sucks. Fall of Beijing. Goodbye, Beijing. Oh, look at that. No. Oh, holy! Bad words! Bad words! Look how many things are down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow. Go ahead when you can, my boys. Holy crap, we're sinking a lot of convoys down here. Who needs to blow up enemy ships when you can just sink convoys all the time? And? Hopefully we'll invade. Successfully. We've done it. Great. Get the cavalry down here and just swarm Australia. This is a bad idea, but get the uh, infantry down here too. And we'll build the ports around here too, so. That's very, 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 very important. Both those get naval bases. That'll be a good place to rebuild too. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. Look at this. 
We lost 7 planes in exchange for 3 escort cruisers, 9 destroyers, a cruiser, and a bunch of planes and convoy. Not bad. Our admirals must be learning a lot, hopefully. Alira was not part of the Dona Adriabund? Huh. So they came back to their masters. Their old masters, I see. Three more convoys. Or at least three more sets of convoys. You guys have got to be learning more, right? No? That sucks. Ozawa, no? Okay. Capital ships, and then electronic communications. Ooh, we lost a convoy, but for everything else that we've done so far, that's really not too bad. Spread out, spread out. Okay, Marines. I literally gave you an order, didn't I? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, I don't understand why they're not going. I literally gave them a few orders to do so, and they just refuse to move. I know it's me sometimes, but this time it's guaranteed it's not me doing this type of crap in which they're not moving. Now they're moving? After I told some of the guys to move? That's so dumb. So dumb. Uh, French state. We've done 24%. Oh, we've killed 20,000 French soldiers. Dominion of Delhi? Well, we've killed off 24,000. Canada? We've killed off 30,000 of them. Australasia? Probably most of them, yeah. Oh, there goes American Union State, and now the PSA is probably going to end up joining the Entente, which is not good for us. <sighs> Just good, not bad. End of the American Civil War, and Defense of Liberty. Cool. Um, that's a really good stack we got there. If that's the case, I'm going to start stacking divisions here. Twelve divisions might be a bit too much here, maybe? Kinds of the lonelies, huh? Keep building this area up. We need more infrastructure here, too. Actually, we got really good infrastructure there. Wow, look at that. Convoy's been sunk. Just and keep keep improving the carriers. I love carriers so much. Yeah, Puerto Rico's over here in the Dutch East Indies. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to be really effective, but hey, you guys keep doing what you're doing, and we'll take out the Australasians. Hey, there's a, they have a division down here, guys. Please keep going, please. Conference in Beijing. Oh, would you look at that? We received word that our friends in Shenyang are arranging a conference aiming to unite China under the Fang Xiang government. With the winds clearly blowing in this direction, Zhang Zulin believed that this is the best opportunity to pull a country together as no one else can legitimately claim to be able to fill the power vacuum left in the wake of the former Beijing government's collapse. Subsequently, we need to decide what a role in the conference, if any, should be. While we naturally cannot be represented by regular delegates, many in the foreign ministry have suggested that we demand observer status. While we do not have any voting rights, some are arguing that our presence would support claims that Zhang Zulin is operating at her behest, and thus undermine both our positions in China and the rest, however, seem to agree that our reasons to attend are legitimate and that we shouldn't be held captive by the irrational fears of Chinese nationalists, after all. Should this conference begin to develop in a direction contrary to Japanese interests, it would be best to know firsthand and perhaps to tip the balance in our favor. Don't bother? We demand observer status. Especially as I'm literally shipping over, like, thousands of soldiers to see what's going on there. Yeah, they just keep killing each other. Which is good for us. Let them kill each other. Tianjin, that'd be good, 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 good. Guys, please keep moving. There you go. That's a, probably a little bit better, honestly. Oh, they found some divisions, huh? Australasia, they're up to five, which is fine, whatever. Uh, I'd recommend going to Townsville if you can. Did we lose something else? Yes, we did. Another convoy, but... How many more ships does Australasia have? I can't imagine it could be an extreme amount. And you're going there by yourself. Holy crap, that sucks. <laughs> they have no manpower. They've got one to five divisions. They have quite a few ships. 42 ships left. They have a carrier left and three battleships and an armored cruiser. We've done very well against them. And again, them by themselves. It's not super hard to defeat, but you know, whatever. Um, more divisions? Good. So we got that stuff. We want maybe some heavy ship holes. Cru cruiser holes would be pretty good to get as well. Yeah, we can almost stack these guys perfectly here. Supply? 17 out of 34? Not bad. I love it. 
Danger in the Beijing Conference. In a most shameful display, Zhu, Zhang Zulin has bowed to pressure from the anti-forces, anti-foreign forces within China, and denouncing our benevolent efforts to protect and uplift China in the face of Western imperialism. Zhang has shown his true colors. This impertinence, this insolence in the face of our long-standing military and economic cooperation is an insult without compare. Despite warnings from some of the foreign ministry against the rash response, broad swaths of the military and political establishment are demanding an immediate response, with some hardliners even insisting that we use our remaining influence to send Zhang an ultimatum forcing him to reserve, reverse course. Um, that's why I'm starting to send soldiers this way too, so. And we've got plenty of soldiers on the line to reinforce our position no matter what. Give ourselves a couple days left first, just because I want to make sure we get our soldiers on the line. If we have to invade Feng Chan, okay, whatever, it's fine with me. I welcome the invasion. Okay, so this is a little bit too much for my liking, so we're going to come down here. Keep going. You guys go that way. Because supply is going to be really bad around here, even though we just get, did get another province, so. Uh, you guys head down, uh, go down to Sydney, and uh, go to Newcastle, and then Sydney, and then Canberra, which I never remember that is the actual capital of Australia. Go figure. Never been to Australia. I'd like to go someday, but at the time of this recording, it's probably not possible. Are soldiers on their line yet? Oh, they're getting there. Reverse course. Beijing government exists. Zhang Zulin backs down. Finally, seeing reason, Zhang Zulin is backed down in face of her just demands that he sees his cowardly betrayal of her shared interest in China. While this might make things more difficult for him politically within China, we can never permit the subversion of our larger aims, which take into account the fate of all of East Asia. We'll have to keep an eye on him. I don't trust him. Oh, a lot of Spanish are dead here. I love it. Spanish? Die. Uh, Chief of the Air Force, we'll probably go ahead and do interception and stuff. Actually, we're researching a lot of ship stuff, so maybe this will be better. Look at that. Philippines, yes. Um, Destroyer, capital ship. I love the capital ships, but carrier deck size and more max range. Yes, please. I'm all about them carriers right now. Even though, I right, hold on. Maybe I should have not chosen that one. Yeah, this would give you more anti-air. Eh, it's really not that much better. 15% armor, more armor on carriers. Some people don't even use armor on carriers, so, eh. Advanced communications. I'd love to do that one, but more max plan. Uh, actually, that's planning speed. Planning speed's not worth it. This is better. Division recovery rate. Or, uh, reinforce rate. No military bias in the military. Good. And at the same time, you know what? Let's just go and do narrow, narrow gauge railways first. Our narrow railway gauge railways have had their advantages during construction, but now they hold back a burgeoning industry. The future waits for no one, at least in all of Japan. Takes a half year in which we lose consumer goods, but so be it. Nice. Sink them, sink them, sink them. Oh, don't lose any more, though. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Actually, you guys are headed down there. Uh, Brisbane, we should be able to get Brisbane regardless, though. So. Come on, Zhang. You should have done something against us. You should have done something. Nice. Keep sinking, sinking, sinking. Do we have any more ships? No, we do not. How have you not learned anything more? Well, he's becoming an inshore fighter and a sea wolf. And how about uh, Yamamoto? Well, he's learning something. <laughs> Fall City. City is finally ours. Good, good, good. This is why I sent the horses down. Venezuela joined the Andean Pact. Well, that's good. At least you didn't join the Entente. That's good stuff. Wow, that's, that's a very green Brazil. And the U.S. is back, led by Sheridan Downey. I don't know girls whose last name is Downey. Hmm. All right, cool. Oh, Brisbane. Cancel on lease. That's fine. Oh, we have got about 1,200 extra guns in reserve, which isn't very much, especially if we want to go to war with China. Wow, that's a lot of guys there. You guys are almost done. That's good. Um, I do want to do this operation stuff. I don't know if this is going to last for some time. Oh, look at this. High penetration. We love high penetration. Get five more there. Get some more naval bombers. We've got a lot of light tanks. We could probably use some medium tanks. Are we building medium tanks yet? We are building medium tanks. That's good. we got some armor cars too. So not bad. Oh, that's a lot of convoys. Nice. Yeah, we lost all that, but I don't really care. Uh, this guy should be done very, very soon, so which will be good. Just go here and take all the stuff. Oh, there they go. Great. So we could just piece out the Anton at this point. I think that would be kind of fair. Let's grab some less supply consumption. That would be good. Um, and then garrisons. I don't really want to invade New Zealand, but you know what? If we have to, we have to. There you go. Alright, let's see. Send half you guys over here. 
Christchurch. And then send them over to Auckland. Auckland. Huh. More light tanks, please. Thank you. Medium tanks. Thank you. Incline belt cruiser armor scheme. Thank you. And grab some of that, too. Nice. Uh, horses, I'm going to need you up north again, so head on back up here. Thank you. I really don't want to be cutting down my forces anymore, but it seems like we're probably going to have to. Up and right there, 30. Oh, they have 33 right there. You take that one off and you extend yourself that way. Which is not very good since we don't have that much more range. I suppose we could cut you guys down half again, but that should help balance things out a little bit more. Uh, and let's do what? Amphibious forces. We could issue, yeah, let's go and issue a colonial ultimatum. We must use this opportunity to cl claim our rightful role as the sole great power in Asia and the Pacific. We must demand all German, Southeast, Asian, and Pacific possessions as well as their Chinese concessions. If they don't meet our demands, then it will be war. Yeah, it will be. And I don't think Germany can afford another war. Then it can't really do much against us right now, especially as they're losing greatly to the Russians, and they're starting to lose again to the the commune of France. So, oh, the oh, the Swiss are in uh, their faction. Yeah, Europe. This is definitely a world war for them. So I would I hate to be in Europe right now, but you know, yeah, that's just me. Cool. And I love to pe penetrate more of the Burma, the Philippines, and Siam. So we have me moderate economic penetration. So, oh, what is that? More convoys, huh? That sucks. That sucks. Uh, can you guys just go? Oh, you guys can. Great. That'd be awesome. And, and, and you know what? Screw it. You guys come down here, too. Melbourne. Hobart. Would you look at that? Right, another task force goes bye-bye. Convoys go bye-bye. Honestly, we have not lost that much. We lost more of the legation cities than anyone else. Go figure. And then after this, go to oh, we'll do some. Let's go Burma. I like Burma. Ba 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 Burma. How many divisions do these guys have? One to two max out, but, but there might be allied divisions on there too, so you never know. Go and train as well. That'd be good. There goes the Polish Republic. Goodbye, Polish Republic. What the heck? Yep. Okay then. I don't remember training all the way up there, but okay. Nice. Oh, look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. I love the Marines. Get to Wellington. And the other guy just stay there for now. You guys go up there. And then you guys head on down to Wellington, too. Just go. Just go, 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 go. Take as much and everything that they have. That'd be good. Lots of dead enemies. And I love it. I hope you love it, too. Hopefully there's some way we can peace out with the top. Excuse me, peace out with the Entente. Northern Territory, huh? Uh, we probably don't need to build that up anymore. Tianjin is okay to build up. Um, overall, not too bad. Not Really, not too bad. Colonial Ultimatum. And Air Force Reform, finally. We can't just focus on the Army, the Navy, and Ground Air Forces need reforming as well. Pretty much. Our ultimatum was ignored. We never received any answer to our ultimatum from the Dutch Ostasian. We must mobilize for war and secure plans as a sole great power in the East. Back down, we can't risk war. Oh, yeah, we can. You bet we can risk war. Are we heading in there? Good. So, in the meantime, Marines are busy doing other stuff, which is totally fine. Uh, I'll have you guys invade from here into Malacca. And then one, two, three. Which would make six. Go from here. And Siam is our, our, in our sphere, so... Yeah, I would not have done that, guys. You guys are over there. You know what? This is dangerous, but I'm going to throw my all my guys down here, perhaps. Maybe. The horses are over there, too, which is not bad. Deutsch Ostasian. So anywhere else we need to send our soldiers? I mean, obviously here we got to invade, too. So how about we put you guys actually in Hong Kong? Ace by the promoted. Pretty good. Norwegian Union is gone. And we get some more political power, too. Mm, I'm not sure how much of that is your capital for real Z's, but whatever. The Marines are busy mopping this place up, which is good. There you go. 
We've got about 10 days left, which is not bad. Get our guys ready to go. <clears throat> and this will secure our oil and hopefully rubber for the rest of the campaign. Hopefully. And again, we don't have a lot of divisions down here. But then again, it doesn't look like they have a lot of divisions down here either. So, four days, three days, hopefully. Come on, guys, get in there. <clears throat> Two, come on. Come on. All right, what are you doing? Like, what are you taking so long for? Jesus Christ, you guys take too long. My goodness. Oh, I know it's across, like, little part of a continent, but still, man. Still. But war, you deserved it. You wanted war, so we'll give you war. Yep, the Rags back wanted it. What do you expect? This is under siege. Unite your total strength to be devoted to the construction for the future. Nice. Well, Deutsch Ostasian, you, you wanted war. No. Oh, they have their fleet down here too, which is not good, but that's okay. <laughs> My apologies. Ooh. Very bad of me. Very bad of me. I should have put these guys up earlier. We're going to need a little bit more fuel. Close air support would not be bad, actually. You know, no, use it. We're not really using them, but okay. And we can put some naval bombers up here too. We're gonna need more fuel after this. Advanced cruiser hulls are nice. Um, let's grab some of this. I like that stuff too. All right, so what's happened up here? We sunk some ships. Good. Oh boy, they have a way bigger fleet than us. Go ahead and just pull out. Yeah, that's gonna hurt us quite a bit. Yeah, we're gonna lose quite a few ships here. That's fine. Whatever. It is what it is. I mean, but their fleet, like they're they're then they're trapped. They're doomed. Cause even though we're losing a lot of ships right now. Oh, don't lose. Oh, we lost a couple capital ships. They can't do anything about this, like, in Europe, then. Like, then their fleet is completely screwed. Oh, we lost a battleship and a cruiser and 20 destroyers, but we sunk at least a battleship. That's good. Kill every single one of them. Every single one of them is going to have to die here. Germany is done. Like, if they have no ships, then they can't get any more fuel, and they're completely screwed that way, so. This is all means to an end. And now we have to double back up. All right, so you guys go right there. Everyone's just go and repair. Take that off, go and repair. Uh, you guys can still do what you're doing, which is fine. Yeah, we're gonna lose a lot of ships. But you know what, the Germans are gonna, they won't be able to do anything. They literally won't be able to do anything because of, oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Um, no, no Navy left. <laughs> I mean, maybe they destroy the, the third internationals, maybe? Ooh. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. I just want to keep going on, so. Tell me, how does it end? With more political power for us. Bismarck C, Straits of Malacca. Come on. Can we move in? Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Force the attack. They want to kill off our ships? We'll kill them all then, too. Oh, would you look at that? Who's injured? Who's injured a lot? Sink everything they've got. All right, good. Deutsche Madagascar, don't, not really scared of them too much. Go and combine some of these task forces again with each other, so. They deserve it. Uh, sure. Hundred seventeen thousand Germans are gonna just wish they gave up their colonies. We've already killed one hundred sixty-six thousand of them. Come on. Good. Yeah, let's take a look here. Jungle Warfare. Oh, they have 54 ships left. Which is pretty good ships for them. But it's not going to last for a very long time for them, obviously. So that's going to go along very nicely. Very nicely. Oh, yeah, they have a lot of... Oh, yeah, islands around here. I forgot about that, too. That's all right. Keep sinking them. Because Germany's fleet will be no more very soon. Oh, what the heck happened here? It's nice and brown. Is this... Oh, the Dutch. Oh. Synthetic rubber? Ah, they're out of manpower, so Germany, you're going to die. Like, you might have a lot of ships now, but you have no manpower, and... Yeah, you're kind of screwed. Shouldn't have pissed us off. Extraction, shall we? Yes, we shall. 
Actually, we have you guys. Can I get some gears and support? I think I already asked them before. You honestly should not be allowed to say no to your overlords. It doesn't make any sense why. Good. Uh, how many ships are repairing? All of them? Probably. Swedish commune is gone. 10 days. 5.2 months. Man, can we not repair faster? We have out 10 slots in total here. Man, come on. Right, how are the Marines doing? As long as some of you guys make it back over here, that'd be really, really good. Um, I don't really want to invade over here. I really don't. Uh, there's really no good place to invade, so... Hmm. Port Moresby? Well, since we're here anyways, I guess... We'll have to use infantry to naval invade, so whatever. And we don't have enough ships down there, so we can't really do that, so... Alright, then. I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Let's see. Yeah, let's come down here. I want Singapore, but we need other areas to get into here. Kuala Lumpur. There we go. Do you not have orders? Why are you going to go around? What type of idiot would go from here all around the island this long way into here? What type of dingus would do that? Go from here to deck there. There you go. If that's the case. All I know is that we need to do more of this then. More naval doctrine. Horses. Horses, horses, horses. Do we actually naval invade? We can try it. We might not be, might not be successful, but that's alright. Happens, you know. Uh, over here, let's get some more air bases then. Alright, so we... Oh, we're actually one there. Nice. Go up there and cut them off. Oh, and now they don't like us here. Okay. Transylvania's gone. Goodbye, Transylvania. Lost another destroyer, but whatever. Alright, let's go one, two, three. Get in here. We're gonna need you in here. Let them waste themselves on us. Cannon bait up there, which kinda sucks, but come on, Siam. Are you in the war or not? No, you're not. Oh, that makes sense. There you go. That should help us out a little bit more. Air Force Reform. Very, very nice. We'll talk target India later on. Naval Bombers. Uh, anything for here? No? Alright. Hmm. Colonial incentives? I guess in order to save our dying Argarian sector and further expand our economy, we certainly need to invest in colonial projects. The Empire of Japan's future is here. We lost two more escort crews. How, what are our naval bombers doing? They're literally doing nothing. Come on. We hired you, and you're doing nothing. Uh, t tell me when the Marines are going to get here. Oh, it's going to take so long to get, for them to get back up here. That sucks so much. Oh well. Head on home. We can attack Kuala Lumpur. That'd be really nice. Central America's gone. Because these guys are going to get attacked like crazy. But they could kill us off if we don't get any time to get more organization, which would be very bad. Oh, did we just lose a division? We just literally lost a division. Stop attacking, you pieces of garbage. Um, they're going to lose hundreds of thousands of soldiers then. Oh boy, let's see. Get some more planes around here. Fighters will be good. We got enough fuel for it, so... And by losing a lot of ships. I guess it saved us on fuel, technically, so... Suppose it could be worse. More ground crews. Colonial incentives are nice. Let's grab some amphibious enforcers. Focus, maybe? Uh... Hmm... Subs. Hidden like the Shinobi of old, submarines can deliver deadly blows not only to enemy military vessels, but also to shipping lanes. How to implement them is vocally discussed in the Imperial Navy headquarters, but all agree that they will serve an important role in any upcoming conflicts, which is very, very true. I want to focus on China. I don't want to focus on these guys anymore. God dang it. How are you guys holding up? You're still holding up very nicely. Good, good, good. Go in when you can. Oh, crap, that's not good. They shouldn't have that much manpower left. I mean, they are still a colonial power. Okay, never mind. They got crapped out of manpower. Holy crud. Well, they shouldn't have that many guns then. 
Uh, guys, you might want to treat. We still sunk some of their stuff, so which is good. Oh, do we sunk a? Oh, I shouldn't have clicked so fast. I might have sunk a capital ship or something like that there. Come on, Marines. Oh, you're getting there. You're getting there. That's good. You know what? Don't hurt my organization anymore. I'd rather have the strength. Because if they're going to die anyways, you might just do the strength stuff. Alright. Oh, look at that. We took a, a carrier. Nice. Oh, we're going to try to invade Kuala Lumpur. Come on, come on, come on. Get in there, get in there, get in there. We got him. Break him up. Piece of garbage. Come on. Oh, we're getting another boy in there. Good. Nice. Siam, so next. Good job, guys. All right, so let's get everyone in here. And by everyone, I mean like half the guys, so. Just gonna hang out here. There you go. Get them all here, and then we'll set up our invasion a little bit more easily. Oh, did, is that us? Oh, no. Hmm, maybe. Could you, like, stop attacking, please? There we go, there we go. That's looking a little better now, isn't it? Oh, we need to invade these guys, too. Oh, guess that makes sense. Go ahead when you can. Singapore's gonna be ours no matter what. You guys, you moving in, or are you just kind of hanging out? Where are, you, where are you guys? Oh, oh my goodness, we've invaded from that side. Oh, probably gonna lose quite a few divisions, whatever. I can't be bothered right now. We got that stuff done. Very nice. Happy 1942, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Let's grab some of that. Thank you. Better light tanks. Thank you. Ships are all in repair. The Yokohama incident. 60 riders and journalists are under arrest on charges of attempting to form an underground syndicalist party. However, it has been revealed that most of their confessions were produced under torture. This is getting bad. Oh, well. Good, 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 good. Keep killing them. Do we actually take Singapore this way? We probably honestly couldn't yet, so... That's alright. Save three of you guys. And three of you guys are actually going this way. So, okay, pause the game, guys. Alright, there we go. And... Can we invade somewhere else? Invading right there would be actually probably very beneficial to cut everyone else off up north. That actually be very, very good. Or we can just do that. Yeah, we could probably just win by doing that too. And this will literally force them to use nothing but convoys, in which everyone else will get just destroyed. Oh yeah, so I am moving into Vietnam, which is good. It's good, 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 good. Supply-wise, how is it looking down here? Oh, we got we got room to grow. We got a lot of room to grow. There you go. Kind of want to do that, but we can still do that. It's fine. Go right ahead. You're gonna go that way, mass strikes, you know Iceland is gone. And let's get some more of that. There you go. Nice. Think they're stupid little navy. Honestly, just come back and just get some more planning for this. That's fine. Probably can't win, but that's alright. You were actually defeated. That sucks. Where are the j soldiers? Are you guys coming along or what? Seriously? I mean, come on. You guys are pathetic and stupid. Pathetic and stupid is the name of this guy. Tanaka Shizui's group here. Ignorant, stupid, and just unable to do anything. My goodness. I was hoping that we guys could do well, but you guys are too stupid to do anything well. Come on. Come on. Don't make me hold your hand. Jesus. I will not hold their hand and do this. Make sure you put a little group there just in case.
Philippines claims Saba. Due to the complex colonial treaties involving Spain and Britain in the 19th century, the Philippines have a legal claim to the territory of Saba, currently occupied by us. They've taken the opportunity to reinforce these claims. Oh, yeah, go ahead and have it. That's fine with us. If you get that as a core, I mean, that's fine with us. Yeah, I can totally have that. All right, so you are still here. Submarine focus. Good. These guys are getting chewed up. Love it. All right, let's go and do enhanced communications. By improving our communication techniques, we can give our troops an edge in recovering an organization. Given the great distances and hostile trains we will be fighting over, this will be significant. Quite significant. Oh, look at that. We lost two planes. That's all right. Keep seeing the convoys. Little pieces of crap that's a, that they are. Good. You won down here again, but at what cost? But at what cost? Oh, Siam Siam's a really good one. They're, they're like the Italians of Asia. They're desperately trying to do the best they can over there. They should be completely out of equipment at this point. Like, they can't get anything imported. Look at that manpower they've lost already. They really should have no more equipment, so... Keep attacking until they die. Either you die or we die, but... Oh, God, the Italian Federation. Why do I do this? Uh, I'll probably do the Italian Syndicalist Union or whatever. Oh, there you go. Oh god. Apologies for the clicking. Apologies, apologies, apologies. Oh my goodness, 700 some score. Holy crud. Why? Why is it so much? It's not really worth that much. Yeah, I know it's venison still, but man. Alright, that should be more... Come on, that should be more than enough. So dumb. Why do I? Why am I involved? Because of the parallel peace conferences. It's it's an absolutely necessary mod, but still. Actually, we don't have to deal with this. Oh, re reunited. Cool. Um. Oh, that's actually really good. To get less supply consumption right now. But if Germany falls, oh, it's called Deutsch Ostasian. Oh my goodness, that sucks. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Man, I am. We have nothing but incompetent generals. My goodness. And completely incompetent. At least Siam's doing well. Siam is a, some of our best buddies. You're going to go in. Are you attacking or not? And either die or kill them off, Marines. That, you have no, op no other options. Die or kill them off. Nope. Ma click, huh? Good. Kill them off. I hope you're learning a lot, because if you're not, I might as well just get rid of you and put someone else in charge. Head down here. If you don't give them any time to get more organization, they will die. Hey, do we have more ships? Oh, we do have another ship. Look at that. Uh, go right there. Is that all you have? Oh, you're still repairing a lot, so that's fine. Oh. Okay, so Empire of Japan came back over there. That's kind of nice. Switching rail gauges has taken tremendous effort, but finally the switch is underway. While it's nowhere near complete, the worst is behind us, and we're already beginning to see the negative effects of our old narrow rail gauges diminishing. Hurrah! Uh, what is that? So, we get less infrastructure construction speed. Changing rail gauges. Narrow rail gauges. Right. Changing. Okay, good. Very nice. Very nice. I feel like Han Hoot Hans Hutig here. All I, am, all I have to use are incompetent buffoons. Yeah, you guys are still invading. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. You're doing a good job. Mm. So we need invade China, which we'll probably have in the next episode. Marines. Did I tell you to give up? I did not tell you to give up. You see Irish people down there? You know what to do with them? You tell them to go home. That's what you do. And if they don't go home, you gotta convince them. And this is how we convince them. Yep, the Irish are gone. That's good. Ace pilot promoted. Very good. After this, with Siam completely destroying those guys. Very good. Sub operations. More escort efficiency. At this point, we're going to go ahead and launch Operation Ichigo. And attack the Beijing government. Because, my goodness, it's time to go. Before we do that, do we have any air bases around here? 
Oh, something I forgot to build up, huh? That's not good. Uh, any more planes, perhaps? Any more tactical bombers? Because we could probably use those guys quite a bit. It ain't much. But it'll suffice. For now, at least. Give them a few more days to get these guys, like, you know, ready to go in the air, so. Alright, and there we go. Uh, Mexico. Good, keep sinking them. Doing a good job with that. What happened to their navy? They all died. Let's go ahead and go to war. Oh, oh that's in 30 days. Whoops, I thought it was... Okay. Preparing for colonization. Good. Singapore will be ours. Hopefully. Come on, let's go, 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 go. A single militia division cannot hold us back. Do it. Good, 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 good. Sing Tao might be a little bit difficult to take out, but we could try Way High Way, maybe. There you go. Um, garrisons? We got quite a few garrisons now, which is very good. Uh, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore is super, super important to keep. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of items we've missed so far, so. Wow, a lot of convoys sunk down here. Not bad. How many men have we lost? 200,000? That's honestly not too bad. Democratic Alliance? What the heck? Now we're just pretty much waiting for Germany to collapse, because they're slowly not collapsing, but they're slowly collapsing from the outside because of Russia. Excavation 4, get some more fuel just in case. They balance oil processing is very, very nice. And I want to go to war. Come on, let's just kill them off. They don't, I can't imagine these guys are going to be too strong at this point, just because, they, while they have a lot of manpower, they've been at war with Beijing, or Beijing government, for a long, long, long time. Hmm... Weird. Recognize the general staff. Our general staff has found inefficiencies in their top-level command structure. By listening to their concerns, we can improve our planning ability. Very good. The German Empire surrenders. With their successful elimination of the German Empire's bases in the region, they want to negotiate, seeking to pull out of East Asia altogether, leaving us to reap the spoils together with the others who have been fighting the Reichsback in the area. We know we should not rest. Um, The German East Asian holdings and allies proceed to be taken in a peace deal, and the rest of the Reichsback will peace out. Sounds like a good idea for us. You know, that sounds like a pretty good idea for us. Uh, I really don't want to fight them anymore. I don't see the point of fighting them anymore. As long as we get the colonies and stuff, uh, that'd be great. Um, oh, maybe we should not... Oh, there we go. Okay. Now just... Okay, that's totally fine then. Totally, totally fine. Oh, we'll take everything pretty much, except to Siam have any claims on this territory. I don't mind giving stuff to Siam because they've done very, very well. If not, maybe we'll just take it because I'm not sure if they can really hold on to this lands or these lands, so... Cool, thanks. Oh, uh, we definitely want Singapore. I don't. I want to give. I really do want to give stuff to these guys, but I guess I'll just take it all. Why not? But now we have no more armor. Well, we probably have a lot of armor cards. I mean, if these guys don't have claims though on it, so do you? Do you need like Vietnam or anything? Because I don't mind giving them Vietnam, but I don't. I've never played a Siam. Viet. Uh, which way do they go? Battalion, more population. Siamese Royal Corps, modern Siamese nation. I thought they could like beca become some sort of R nation. Like Rot. Rot it's a really long R word that they could become. Maybe not. Tiger Club. If not, I mean, hey, uh, we'll gladly take whatever we can grab here. So. And this will give us direct access to these guys too, which is really nice. So. Cool. I love it. That was really, really nice. Thank you very much. Come again. I don't want to come down here, though, and fight these guys. But it is what it is. Oh, they still have the AOG. Oh, man. That kind of sucks. But we still need to go to war with these guys, so it is what it is. If that's the case... Hmm. Can you guys come over here? Oh, wow, that's a lot of ships. But you know what? We lost a lot of ships. We proved our superiority in the waters. And now it's time to beat the crap out of the Beijing government. I love the Beijing government. But I prefer it if they would all die. And we broke over the river. Great. Oh, that is not really ideal. You might want some support for that, guys. You might really want some support. Uh, I'm going to go and sail. Don't worry about Tianjin. It's for reals, though. We might not... Uh, can I actually pierce their armor? 
No, we can't, but that's alright. Our guys are moving on, spreading out quite quite quick enough, so I think we'll do okay here. Yeah, as long as they're distracted, that's kind of okay with me. Um, other than this, what else do we have to do? The fate of Indochina. Conquer China. Beijing government must be, like, capitulated. We must own that. Okay. Cool. And the fate of Indochina. I kind of want to keep them. But if we have to release them as a puppet, that's fine. I mean, we can always extract stuff from them anyway, so. Very cool. I love the Philippines. This is, even though, I'll be honest, like, the end of the last episode really pissed me off, as you could tell if you actually watched that video. And if you did, thank you. Um, but, like, this one has been a lot more enjoyable than the last one. I'm kind of enjoying this a lot more. Oh, maybe I should give these guys orders. That would, that would probably help out. Yeah, that would probably help out a little bit. Go. And since we're... Oh, wait, we're getting this to the Feng Shan. Oh, that sucks. I can't even build land, land stuff in here. That's stupid. Uh, let's take a look, though. 123,000. Beijing government has lost over 2 million. Wow. The Feng Shan government has done what? They're independent, right? Yeah. 1.29 million for what? Nothing? Pretty much nothing. Uh, we're doing a good job, though. Hey, we're almost got back over here. Nice. At least we're not finding the Reichs Pact. So the Reichs Pacts can die over there. Die without us. Yeah. I'm not so sure that these guys can do anything anymore. 77 divisions max. They got a lot of manpower, but... Stockpile-wise? Navy-wise? No Air Force flies, and we do have tactical bombers and a few planes to put on these on these guys too. So I don't think they have enough equipment because they they have enough manpower, but they're lacking like stuff here. So oh, what have we down here? You know, clique. They're, they're looking pretty mighty. They're looking pretty darn mighty. We're gonna need to raise the conscription level eventually, though. Anything else? No, no, not really. Air Force stuff, fighter stuff is so good. Mitsubishi. I always go Mitsubishi. I'm going to try someone else other than Mitsubishi. I'll go with this one, because even though Agility is probably the best stat for you, or just the best stat for, like, planes and such, it's alright. Go to Xi'an. Oh, Wu Chang. Xin Yang. Very cool. Let's keep it out, make sure they can't do anything. It's oh, that sucks. Reorganize the general staff. Very nice. They join the Chinese United Front. No bias. Oh, boy. Now it's kind of balanced here, and then we'll go with... Okami Project. What well, sailors of old often called sea monsters or leviathans will soon pale before the great wolf class heavy super battleship, the Okami. Maybe we name the first one after great god and emperor, the Okami. Cool. So we're finding these guys now. Oh, that sucks. Where are you guys at? You guys are down here? Well, that's alright. Let's come over here, then. Oh, we're finding these guys. Okay. United Front Forms, Banzai. I don't think you'll make it in here in time. Yeah, you definitely won't. Um, hmm. My quick, huh? Oh my goodness. This is, okay, this is not going to be good. They're filling this out with way more soldiers. An Ching is fighting us too? How dare you? Well, that's okay. We'll come over here then. I need you guys to kind of hang out and hold first. Actually, just keep going. Try, keep trying to beat him up. Kill them all off if you can. As long as we're still connected to Beijing, that's what matters. Slovakia's gone. It's good. Come down here, too. Yeah, you're not going to come back alive. No, 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 no. And we'll have to, our ho horses hold here, too. Alright, so that's good. You guys hold. That's what I want. That's all I want. That's all we need. Come on, boys, move. They're actually moving pretty quickly, which is pretty nice. Alright, so you guys gotta stop attacking now, too. Just hold. Kinda hang out. Kinda hang out. Hold. Hope we can beat these guys up. In time. Get into China. Control Beijing. What does this mean? If not selected. Um okay. We need some more probably planes around here, which would be nice. 
And give them fighters, why not? Uh, you can go through this. But I think I'll end the episode here, and maybe I'll play this a little more off screen. And after that one, we'll probably end up doing what? Let's do fighter focus. Control in the air means control in the world. We must keep our fighters up to date to maintain our air superiority, but I hope you enjoyed this episode. Maybe you did. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will desperately try to beat up the Chinese all across China. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.